Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a menu for an existing model and place it where you are exactly want. Okay, so let's start with activating the developer mode. Actually, we are going to use it. So we have a different view here for general settings. I mean for the settings. So let's move to activating the developer mode. Here we are. We are already in the developer mode. So let's move to let's say that in invoicing you want to add currencies somewhere here. It's not anywhere else. So I will add it here under management category. So it will be in a link for a tax report so let's move to models and settings okay here we are we have models so let's search for currency okay we have this currency here let's create menu and it will be let's search for this name or add this name currencies and here is the parent will be management we have it here in configuration management okay so we are here let's reload and voila you have it here in configuration we have currencies where you can add create and do whatever you want you can also activate more by filtering on inactive and do whatever you want you can you know, for me i will activate my um, egyptian currency which is uh, egyptian pound okay so i can activate it just by here so this is an existing model i have created a menu for it and also added there it's there so it, here we are so if you wanted to move it let's say assuming that you have crm and for some reason you want to add contacts just here in crm or let's say crm uh, you know below sales i will do this actually i will move crm below sales so let's move to settings okay we have a menu item where all the menu items are already there so I will find CRM okay here we are so I will add the parent which will be sales okay so it should be the most parent sales okay now it should be added there let's reload the page so we, we don't have CRM anymore but we have sales and CRM it's already there okay if you wanted to move it let's say somewhere between order and to invoice we can do the same again we will play with the sequence or the order of these menu items so i will move back to menu items okay i will search for sales the most parent one okay we have the sub menus here so i just need to modify the sequences to be somewhere as i mentioned order and um you know uh, this uh, to invoice okay so it will be the sequence will be two okay save and the orders i will change it to be one so i will be sure that it will be always the first one so by saving this okay i have order crm to invoice that's exactly what i wanted to do so let's move to sales okay i think i need to reload the page and voila you have order crm with all the menus below so that's it this is really simple but you can still do do more by just adding uh, you know groups and and so on for security and the menu items let's pick um, you know this one for example okay we have some menus okay you have also this groups you can add the groups who are allowed to see this and use of course this menu item okay so that's it thank you